Right, okay. Hello, YouTube. This is the DVD Gamer Show. Episode 56, Part 3. Now, if you haven't watched Part 1 yet, you've missed Part 1 or Part 2, yes? You've missed absolutely loads. So please watch that part. Please watch the loads part before you watch this part. I've already reviewed most of the game. I've already talked about the graphics, the multiplayer, the controls, the music, the characters, fights, gameplay. And all that sort of stuff in part one and part two. So please watch those parts for this part so you don't miss any of that. Now let's take a look at that stuff. I like to actually explain the items for the game. Let me just show you some other stuff. Okay. Also, when you um when you're picking a fight with your friends, you can also go into the um, custom rules. Custom rules basically let, lets you choose what type of match you want. Example, you've got a time match where you have to kill each other in a certain length of time and put some most points at the end wins. A stun match which gives your character a certain number of lives. Coin match which means you collect more coins than your opponent. Uh, the well, as much means you have to get more points than your character, and that's basically it. Um, you've also, also in the custom rule section, you can set your handicaps, the damage ratio, and the stage select, and which stage you get picked out. Overall, you can add uh, the time limit. Um, if you're playing as a, a team, you can um, choose if. If you can actually hit your friends or not. And that's if the additional rules. And that's basically all the good stuff I can think of. Anyway, let's go to bad stuff about this game. But before I do that, let me just show you one match. I'm gonna fight box here for two minutes so you can but just for a little while so you can see what so I can show you some more gameplay I am rather good at Smash Bros although today Fox is kicking my ass Kirby is my favorite character I can't wait for Brawl to come out so, at the moment, I'm practicing non stop for when I go online with Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Anyway, that's the gameplay for you. Anyway, let's go into bad stuff, guys. Let's go into bad stuff. Right, the bad stuff about Super Smash Bros. Melee is this. First things first, Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watch should definitely not be in this game. He's one of the worst characters Nintendo has ever thought up. I know Mr. Game and Watch was the very first character that, Mr. that Nintendo invented, but he didn't really have to be in Smash Bros. He's just a really bad character, and they should have put someone else in besides him. I really, really hate him. And I don't see why they have to put him in Brawl as well. Along with that stupid Rob the Robot. But anyway, back to Smash Bros. Melee. Um, this is not really a complaint. This is more of a criticism. That... that Loads and loads of trophies in the game, and some of them are extremely hard to get. Other bad stuff about this game is that quite a lot of the characters are clones. In the game, there are several characters which which act in the same way as other characters. Example: Mario and Doctor Mario. So there are quite a few cloned characters in the game. 
but most of the cards are pretty good. Anyway, it's Rick, Smash, Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. I give this game a 4 out of 5. It's a very, very good Super Smash Bros. game. And I definitely can't wait for, for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which is coming out in May for the English people. You lucky Americans, great big horrors. Um, my next review will be Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. Anyway, I give Super Smash Bros. Melee a 4 out of 5. My next review will be Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. Until then, YouTube, bye-bye.